Next up on Music R Us, rapper Cool Jeff Yu tells it like it was in the Roosevelt rap. Long time ago, 1882, a baby was born, known to me and to you. His mother called him Franklin, his father called him son. He grew up destined for Washington. Franklin D. Roosevelt, a.k.a. FDR. Born along the river in the town of Hyde Park. Was the only son, Sarah and James. Collecting stamps and birds were his favorite kings. First he went to Groton, and then to Harvard too. Had degrees in law and history by the time that he was through. March 17th in 1905, Franklin took Eleanor to be his bride. Had the same last name, but that don't mean nothing. They were far enough apart, they were with cousins. How'd he get started in politics? He ran for state senate from the Dutchess County Sticks. A Democrat from these parts was rare to see, but FDR made it to Albany. Then he backed Wilson at the National Convention Was a move that proved to make a valuable connection Wilson was president with the cane and gravy He appointed FDR as the Secretary of the Navy Then in 1920, just for kicks FDR made his return to politics Number two upon a ticket with a man named Cox Not enough people marked the Democratic box Making it in politics is tough, you know not as tough as dealing with polio. Now Franklin had a homegirl they called ER. Sent her off on trips both near and far. Telling everybody that Franklin would be back. He wouldn't be stopped by a polio attack. Everyone around said, hey, that's great. They elected him the governor of New York State. Seems pretty easy now, doesn't it? But it couldn't have happened without Al Smith. Things around the nation were going pretty fine. And it wasn't until October 1929. Hoover seemed insensitive as if he didn't care. He said relief was around the corner, but the statement didn't square. Franklin had the common touch. He knew how people feel. He spoke at the convention, pledged them a new deal. People were beside themselves. They knew not what to do. It wasn't until November 1932. They elected Franklin president from Prohibition Air Parch. He didn't take the reins of power until early March. And he wasted not a moment to bring us from Malays past the slate of legislation just a hundred days. He was helping all the people by themselves and in groups with a recipe, a program, some called Alphabet Soup, AAA, CCC, and the NLRB, NRA, BOB, and the FDIC, TVA, NRC, WPA, he did it all, he went too far, some Republicans would say. You might think that I forgot in Alphabet Flurry, SSI, I did not. Social security was ahead of its time, but I almost left it out because it's so hard to rhyme. Try it out, and you'll see it's not an easy thing to do. If I had been FDR, it had been in term two. GW had won when his term was at an end, avoiding tangling alliances if you can. The American public took this to heart, FDR knew different, he was way too smart. The appeasement at Munich, well it worked for a while, but you give them an inch and they should have taken a mile. Soon England was clinging just by its toes, so Franklin threw the rescue with a garden hose. All of a sudden, the war across the sea was brought to our door in a day of infamy. It took the army, the air force, the navy, and marines, and the factories back home rules. He took to the machines, we grew gardens, bought Bonds, collected up scrap, put on hard, hard, and pushed them all back. Hitler, Hirohito, and Mussolini were the Axis leaders, but we had the big three. Roosevelt, Churchill, Stalin, too, were the Allied leaders who won World War II. I forgot to mention Fowler was a man's best friend. The summer 45, the war came to an end. Franklin didn't see it, for on April 12th he died. Let's not even mention who was there at his side. There's been a story, FDR's life, vision of the United Nations carried on by his wife. The two were finally rest in the grave at his home, in the garden where the roses' name was still grown. Carol Lorenz was known as FDR's filmmaker and produced award-winning documentary films such as The Plow That Broke the Plains and The River. The Carol Lorenz Film Center at the Franklin D. Roosevelt Presidential Library and Museum is proud to uphold his legacy.